in town, won't we? Off you go. Thank See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Bowling's prize board brings many surprises, not the, which, not the least of which is going to be in the next 20 seconds. Andy and Mick with £90. What are they going to do with that? Come on, lad. <laughs> Come in there, look, Andy. <laughs> this side, Mick. In here. That's good. That's the way, boys. Now then, it's a big decision, this, lads. £90. 45 quid apiece you've got. Are you going to try and gamble that for tonight's star prize? What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> now, boys. Look, yes, you take them out. Take your darts out. Take, it's all right, we'll give you a lift with that, Andy. Can I just give you a hand with that? Just take the darts out for you there. And I'll take you this last one out here. It's in there somewhere, Andy, isn't it? There we are. Can I, would you like me to do this for you? Yeah, you. I will, with pleasure. Now, we love a winner on Bullseye. We'd be delighted if we could manage it tonight, boys. We really would be thrilled to bits. Are you putting your glasses on? Yep. Yeah, all right. It's best if you can see the board. I'll... Uh... Thanks, Alex. I'll, I'll look after this bag for you. Don't worry about that. Thank All right. You. There are your darts. Andy to go first. We'd be thrilled to bits of you, wouldn't we? Because you've been marvellous here all day. Andy, up to the hockey. Come and stand with me, Mick. <coughs> Tony will do all he can to help you. It's 101 we need, and I promise you, it really is a super prize. It's no rush, Andy. Just take your time. All right. 101 or more for tonight's star prize. 19. 11. And double seven, so that's 44. That's good. Well done, Andy. Come on, Andy. Well, you know what that means, Mick. 57 or more for tonight's star prize. Best of luck. Twenty. Five. Oh, unlucky. He went for double stop. Bad luck, mate. You're absolutely right. right to have a gamble at it. Come and have a look at what you would have won because you might be a little bit disappointed about this. Never mind. In you go. Andy, Andy, stay there. It's a superb caravan. It really is a nice one. But at £45 each, you were right to have a go at that. Never mind, all of you at home, we're very disappointed tonight. We would have loved the two boys to have gone away with that prize, but, they, well, you know the game, it's full of surprises. That's why you all watch us on Sunday. We'll look after the boys afterwards. We'll cheer them up with a nice little drink. Thanks to John Moore for coming on the programme. All our contestants, we've had a marvellous day today. Thank you very much indeed. Watch us next week, you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. Well done. Christmas can be challenging at the best of times. OK, Mum. But for families who have lost or are losing a loved one, it can be overwhelming. They're here, they're here. Oh, Annie, Hello. so pleased to see you. So amid the anger, could you give £23 to fund an hour of care? In between the stress... It's not too late. Oh, no, no, you're not too late. Could you fund an hour of comfort? <laughs> and amongst the grief... You're not alone. Could you fund an hour of joy? <laughs> okay, Mum. This isn't the kind of Christmas anyone ever wanted. But with your help, we can be there to make it the best one possible. To give £23 for an hour of care, comfort and joy, please call 0800 810 0212, text CARE to 70488 or search Marie Curie Christmas. Thank you. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? I got off with this girl. She lured me into this insane scheme. Sex must have been great. Best I ever had. These are my boyfriend. We're just two adults having a hot, casual affair. But how casual is casual? No last names, no details. Three weeks and we're done. Ah! What a life. Okay, so you delete me and I delete you. You know we don't have to do this. Oh, I miss him so much. He's gone. No more Tom stories. Well, if you didn't want to listen to someone's problems all day, you should have fought ahead and had a son. If he hurts you, I will kill him. Hi. What are you doing? Seducing you. Get involved. You've got to be quiet. Oh, my God. Have you got a girl here?
party. We are hashtag blessed to have the world's most successful game show right here. Buzz in for Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10 on Challenge. Bully, the cartoon ball, drops from an ensign, enters the premises where a darts contest is advertised. As people drink, he takes up a set of darts, takes aim and scores a bullseye. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome your host for the evening, Jim Bowen. Welcome to Bullseye. Well, we're at it now, well into the series. What about last week? I couldn't believe it last week when the lads missed it. Oh, dear, dear. Let's hope they do it tonight. A nice warm round of applause for the first couple who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From Centre, John and David Gray. Hello, David. Hello, John. How are you? Right, right. Tell us where you're from. It's obviously a Midlands accent from... Warley. From Just Warley, yes. Yeah. I know it. Nice part, of, nice part of the world, isn't it, now? Yeah, what do you do for a living, Dave? Pat Maker. A pattern maker. You married? Yeah. Any family? No. No family? No. How long have you been married? Seven years. Really? No. Oh. You've got a book about it. Have you... <laughs> <laughs> what about you, John? Yes. All oh, right. So, I never yeah. asked a question and we got yes. No, that's it. You're, you're yeah. married? Yes, okay. yes. Any family? Yes, I've got two, two boys. Two boys? Yes. How long have you been married, John? Eight years. All right. Any hobbies? No. Fishing. That's Most Nine popular months. sport, isn't it? It's yeah. frightening that. The more people fish than anything else, don't they? Yeah. Well, nearly, nearly everything else, isn't it? What about you, John? <laughs> oh, I like playing pool. Do you? Yeah. Are you an athlete? Because you're, you're like... You're like no, you're, no, no, no. You're not, because like, you're a model for a dipstick, really, aren't you? But, yeah, well, it's <laughs> going to be close now, yeah. You're yeah. incredibly <laughs> slim, aren't you? Must be the envy of all the athletes in the world, that. Because he's... Well, I should keep working on that, <laughs> eh? I've got it. Is he nice? How long is it? <laughs> 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 it's Do you drink a lot? No, nah, not a lot. You spill most of it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> nice to have you both with us. Privileged to have you here, John. Off you go into your little seat Thank there, you. and Dave. There you go. And the next couple who are going to play with us on Bullseye. Come on, look at that. From Television South, Carol and Steve Peckham. Hello, Carol. and Steve. Right, come on, tell us where you're from. From uh, New Forest. The New Forest, that's right. Southampton, Winchester. Beautiful part of the world, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. When you walked in, I saw the face grow a bit. Were you a bit frightened when you came on? Yeah, I've been frightened since I got here. Have you really? <laughs> well, it's funny, isn't it? It's different yeah. when you get on, isn't it? Are you happily married? Yes. Yeah. Have you any family? Not yet. Not yet. How long have you been married? Only a year and a half. Just a year and a half? Well, you're up late, really, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you do for a living? A uh, pipe fitter. A pipe fitter, yeah. yeah. And do you still work, Carol? No, I'm just a housewife. Just, well, just, and no family, so it's... Well, it's not a bad life, <laughs> thing, is, no, it? No. is it? You were the dart player, Carol? Yes. Uh, how, why is that? Because... It's unusual to have a lady who's... Are you really into darts? Yes, I've been into darts since I was 15. Have you really? He didn't really start playing darts until he married me. <laughs> you made him have it, then? <laughs> darts yes. as well? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another bit. That won't go out. Never mind that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Knowing Harris, it probably will. Now, listen. <laughs> Smashing to have you with it. You're a right good looking couple anyway. It's really lovely to have you on, have you on the show with us. Yeah. Over there, Steve. Right. And down there, Carol. Nice to have you. And the third couple tonight going to play Bullseye. Come on, listen to <laughs> From Harley, Pat and George Parsons. We've <laughs> really talked to you yet, have we? First yeah. time to talk to you. Where First are you time. from? Western Supermare. Oh, yeah, that's a nice part. Holiday resort, of course, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I come from a holiday resort. Well, a resort is the last. Morecambe. Yep. I mean, you've heard of Morecambe? We have, we have, yeah. There's one thing to be said about Morecambe. The beach is near the sea. Mm, yeah. It? <laughs> it, well, no, Western's not bad, is it? It's a nice, warm, friendly place, isn't it? It is. In the West Country. Yeah. Lovely quality of life down there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Everything's Definitely. slow and it's great. What do you do, George? I'm a heating engineer. Heating engineer? Yes. Your own business? Uh, I work for myself. You work? Well, that's, that's his own business, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. Why didn't you just say yes? <laughs> what about, what about you, Pat? 
Now, don't say just a housewife. Well, I'm mean, a bookkeeper, the then. Well, you keep the books for the family. Yeah. It's all straight and there's none of that through no, the office. None no, of that. No, 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 no copper definitely. piping welded no, down no, and then, is no. it? None of that. No. Uh, have you family? Yes, yeah. four. What have you got? Four? Oh, well, um, <laughs> you've done more than pipe fitting then over here. <laughs> 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 Happily married, obviously, you look lovely and happy. Yes. You've got your own yeah. house down in West Ham. And is business all right? Pretty good. Good. Pretty good. Looking forward to playing the game. We are. Do you feel nice and relaxed? Oh, yeah. Not too bad. You obviously not, look not too nice bad. A little bit. Just, well, that's good. A yeah. little bit of nerves yeah. is good, isn't it? Sure. Right. You're in the right place. That's right. Pat, off you go to your little seat. George, lovely. Yeah. Well done. Smashing couples, aren't they? All three of them. Come on, Alfred. We'll go through it again, just to remind you. Come and have a look at the board, and we'll just remind you exactly how the game goes. It's the bullseye dartboard with all the categories round the board, and in each category we've got bonus areas, and this is the different element of the game. These bonus areas of 30, 50 and 100, these can be won by the dart player, by hitting the subject chosen by his partner. And if he hits the bullseye, and you'll not believe this, he can get £200. What about that? And you should do it as though you mean it, you see. <laughs> once the subject's gone, of course, once the subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. All right, just like the last series. OK. Now, we have arranged the order of play before we came on the air, and they're all sitting there, all ready to play the game. You can see them all. Now, then, the value of the questions in the first round is £30. So we're looking at John to choose a subject for David to play the game. Uh, showbiz, please. Yes. Showbiz. So it's David to throw, and we're looking at showbiz. It's helping him there, flashing, showing where to, where to hit the board. And he's done it. He's got a £30 bonus before we even start. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Who became the force's sweetheart? Feraline. Right, you've got that right. <laughs> Give him a round of... <laughs> All, right. All right, Steve, look at the board. Uh, spelling, please. Spelling. All right. Come on, Carol. Nice and relaxed. Flashing to help you, Carol. Don't worry about it. We've got a question on words. There's no bonus, but you can still get this question right, and it'll give you £30, and it is early days. What is the singular, Steve, the singular of mice? Mouse. Mouse is right for £30. That's all right. Yeah, fine. Make them nice and relaxed. Now then, Pat. Choose a subject for George. Places, please. Places. All right, George. In you go. Flashing to help you. It's not. In fact, he's got you a question on sport. But if you can answer this, you still get £30. So don't worry too much about that, Pat. Here's your question. What's the name of the test cricket ground at Leeds? Now, it's... Heading me. He's absolutely right. Heading is absolutely right. <laughs> All nice and relaxed. At the end of that round, we've got John and David with £60, Stephen Carroll with 30 and Pat and George with 30 So we move on to round two. And this time, the questions are worth £50 each. But they are a little bit more difficult. And, of course, we've got less categories for the dart player to aim at. Let's look at what we've got left. We've got food, places, affairs, history, books... Great Britain and spelling. All right, J John, look at the board. What about it? Uh, spelling, please. All right. So it's David to go for spelling. Not forgetting the bullseye and the bonus, of course. And he hasn't got you what he wanted. It's a, a question on Great Britain. So here's your question. No bonus, but the question is worth £50. For whom is Chequers a country residence? Prime Minister. Exactly right. Super answer that. Yes, well done. Well done. Come on, Steve, choose a subject for Carol. Uh, spelling again, please. It's spelling again this time. Come on, Carol. You relax now, there's plenty of time. <laughs> Not, and sadly, it's Britain, and the category's gone, so we can't even ask you the question. Still early days. Pat, look at the board and choose a subject. History, please. History. Now then, George. <laughs> Not, it's sport. And the question's gone, so we, again, we can't ask the question. So at the end of that round, gives us the scores with John and David, £110, Stephen Carroll and Pat and George, both with £30 each, as we move to round three. And this, here, it can all upend, because the questions are worth £100. They are a bit more difficult, and we have got less categories. Let's have a look at what we've got left to aim at. We've got food, 
places, affairs, history, books and spelling. What about it, John? Spelling, please. You. Spelling for David. <laughs> Great Britain. And we can't ask the, answer, ask the question because it's gone. So we move on and we look at Steve. Choose a subject. Affairs, please. Affairs. This is current affairs, Carol. It's flashing to help you. And she's in. She's got you a £30 bonus. And here's the question on current affairs for £100. Name one of the two men who were the chief contenders in the February 1982 election in ERA. Charles Hoy. He's right for £100. <laughs> All right, Pat. Look at the board. Choose a subject. <clears throat> food, please. Food. Right. This is for a £100 question on food. Come on, George. Is there a £50 bonus? That's excellent. And here's the question on food. And it's for £100. £100. Which vegetable delicacy also produces fern-like leaves and they're used by florists? Asparagus. Is right for £100. Well done. <laughs> excellent. So at the end of round three, we have the scores with John and David with £110, Steve and Carol with £160, and Pat and George with £180. What a turnaround. We've got to say cheerio to John and David. Give them a nice warm round of applause. Come on, boys. John and David join Jim at the podium. Dear me, you were well away, weren't you, then and then? With the last round, it all went. Never mind. You've got the bullseye darts and the bullseye pen, and you've got £110, which I'm going to count out for you now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, £110. Pick those that money up with our compliment. Yeah, it's been lovely having you with us. It's been worth you coming anyway, hasn't Definitely. it? Definitely. There you are. It's been a lovely having you with the lads. A great couple. Come on. Give them a nice warm round of applause. Fine. Now we move to round two, and here, as you all know by now, we, m we use a normal, traditional match play dartboard. And you remember, in this part of the game, the two remaining contestants compete in three rounds of darts against each other, and the highest scorer of each round wins for his partner a question. And the value of that question is the winning score. So it's pounds for points, all right? Carol, up to the hockey and score as many as you can to get a question for your partner. That's fine, George, you stand here. And it's over to Tony Green. It's round one. Carol Throy. It's treble 20. Single 20. And that's a five. That's 85. <laughs> George Niddy. 85. Single one. That's 18. That's a five, that's 24. So Carol wins the first round. So here we go. We're looking now, this is for you, uh, Steve. And the question, for 85 pounds, people of which religion worship in a synagogue? Jewish. The Jewish religion is right. Marvellous, 245 pounds. <laughs> we move on to round two. And in again, Carol. Over to you, Tom. Again, Carol to the left. Single 20. It's a five. That's another 20. That's 45 for Carol. George with 45 to beat. That's out the board. Double 20. And that's a 12, that's 72 in the second round to George. So this question, Pat, for 72 pounds, which acid in a lemon makes it taste sour? Citric. Citric is right for 72 pounds, giving you 252 <laughs> into round three with all to play for. So the third, the final round, Carol to throw. Double 20. Single 20. A 
And that's another 20. That's 80 scored for Carol. Another 20, that's 45. So the third round to Carol. Right. So here's your question. Steve, answer this question. Takes you through to the next round. What is a condor? I'll spell it for you if you like. C-O-N-D-O-R. It's a bird. It's a bird. It's right for £80, giving you a score of 320... 325 pounds. Sadly, we've got to say cheerio to Pat and George, but they're still going away with £252. Give them a nice round of applause. They've done very, very well. Pat and George join Jim for their prizes. It was all to play for on that last round, wasn't it? Have you yeah. enjoyed it? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You've done very, very well. The money's there, £252, which has been well worth you popping down to Birmingham to see us, hasn't it? Sure. And you've got some lovely tankards, cut glass tankards, with bully... It's all engraved on there and the bullseye darts and the pen. Been lovely having you with us. We'll see you in a couple of throws. Thank you. <laughs> this Christmas, your donation to Gosh Charity can bring a child one step closer to home. Search Gosh Christmas. Get comfy this Christmas with Pillow Pad Fold Away from JML. The multi-angle viewing stand that makes any device easy to see, comfortable and hands-free. The plush microfiber ledge holds any device securely at the perfect viewing angle. And it comes with a handy storage compartment. It's a great gift for sofa surfers. Whether you're sitting, lounging or lying down, get the perfect view with Pillow Pad Fold Away. Only $19.99 from Asda, Argos, Boots, Denelm and JMLDirect.com. Customer service to three, please. Hey, Sainsbury's. What does Santa have for his Christmas dinner? I think he'd kick off with a charcuterie tree. Yeah. Then it's got to be succulent, slow-cooked British turkey crowd. Mince pies? Not again, Raj. Maybe you're home for Christmas Belgium chocolate mousse, yes, then? Yes, Raj! Yes, Raj! Sainsbury's. Good food for all of us. When was the last time that you've stopped to think if the makeup shades you're wearing truly suit the woman you are today? Is it time to rethink your routine? Choosing the perfect makeup is not just about your skin tone, but it's a combination of your skin, hair, and eye color. That's what makes you uniquely you. That's why I created our Match To Me technology at Trini London. It's foolproof. 15 seconds later, Match To Me has found the colors that suit you the best. Find your match at trinilondon.com. Which would you choose? This robot vacuum cleaner? Or this one from Woucher? Woucher, save now, live wow. With clever hints that make growing your family tree easy and a friendly community to help, there's nowhere better to find your family history than find my past. Before our accident, everything was about being a stuntman. Now it's about being present. And action! Head to the Aussie Outback. This was the last place then where Ray and Jenny were seen alive. Where if you dig deep enough... Duck's body. ...you'll discover buried secrets. He didn't fall down that shaft and die accidentally. It was foul play. He was, in fact, murdered. And small-town cover-ups. Do you think there are people out there who know what happened? I think so. Murder in the Goldfields. Available now on Crime and Investigation. Thank you very much indeed. Hey, what a lovely audience. What a smashing crowd. That's great. You remember on the last series, great on the last series, we did the charity gamble with the, with the star dart player, and only two did it. One was Linda Batten, and the other was this fellow you're going to meet now. Give a nice warm round of applause to a Lancastrian, Mr Billy Leonard. Yellow-shirted Billy joins Jim. Hey, nice to have you back. Yeah, okay. It's 
<laughs> hey, really, we were so thrilled last time, because only two did it, you and Linda, didn't yeah. you? That's right. And Linda did it earlier on, of course, in the series. Yeah. It, to do it twice is, ooh, asking a lot, isn't it? We hope you do it tonight. He's, he did it last time for us, because, you know, we double the money. If he gets 301 or more, we double it, and it goes to the charity chosen by the finalists. Give him an encouraging round of applause as he throws to charity. Billy Leonard, he's a lovely fellow. <laughs> Former News of the World Champion, throwing first down, single one, treble 20, and single 20, that's 81. <laughs> treble 20, single 20, another 20, that's 100. <laughs> Six stars then, Billy, with that Single 20. Treble 20. And that's a single 20, another 100, but that's 281. Well, it's very close, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Very consistent throwing that was. My, can meet the couple who, who've chosen the charities now. Come and stand and tell Bill about this charity. It's uh, to put money towards a guide dog for a new forest person, for a blind person. For a specific person for in the new forest. In new and forest. is this something you've got an interest in at home? You're working yeah. on that cause, are you? Yeah. That's marvellous. You have 200, well, 281 pounds. That's well on the way, yeah, isn't it? That's Thank you very much indeed. I'm sure you must be very grateful to Bill Leonard. He's a lovely yeah. fellow, isn't he? Yeah. Bill, it's been a pleasure having you. What a lovely night. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? How are you? How you feel? A bit like that now. Are you surprised to get to this stage? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. we, honestly, you've very done pleased. very, very well. Yeah. You, you really did come back from the dead, didn't you? I did. I thought yes. you'd gone <laughs> in the first round. It was marvellous getting that 100, wasn't it? Yeah. We're going to show you a dartboard now. You know what I'm going to say to you, don't you? It's the Bullseye Star Prize Board. Come and have a look at it. I'll explain it to you. It's a test of memory as well as skill, this. Listen very carefully. We've got black segments and red segments. And in every red segment, there's a super prize. In one, for a suntan all the year round, a ten-element sunbed. In two, a stereo car radio cassette with speakers. In three, an upright freezer with shelves and fast freeze compartment. In four, wake up to the sound of music and a refreshing cuppa with this radio alarm tease made. In five, a D-shaped hall table with a green embossed leather top. In six, a three-quarter length ladies sheepskin coat. In seven, a microwave oven with automatic turntable and special defrost setting. In eight, for the children, in fact for the family, a cartridge video game. And Bully's Prize this week, a remote-controlled video cassette recorder capable of recording seven separate programmes on seven different channels over a period of seven days. Now then. All right. Nine super prizes there. And we're giving you nine darts. Six for you, Carol, and six for you, and three for you, Steve. All right. So we want you to throw the first three. Now listen, a little poem to help you. In this game, keep out of the black and in the red. Now you get nothing at all for two in a bed. All right. If you get two in a, in a red bed, you lose the prize. All right. Okay. So best of order, game on. And it's over to young Tony. It's Carol throwing the first three darts. That's in the red, it's number six. That's fine, that's the lady's sheepskin coat. Ooh. Another red, number seven. That's a microwave oven. It's in the black, oh. very, very near to oh, Never mind, you've got two on three. That's a marvellous start for you. The sheepskin coat and the mi microwave oven. It's Steve to throw. You all get two out of three, it's marvellous. Steve with three darts. Well, that's in the red, it's number eight. That's fine, that's a video game for the children. That's in the black. And that's in the black, very near the ball, very unlucky still. Never mind, you're still doing very, very well. You've got three super prizes. Take your time, Carol. Three darts to pull. <coughs> Carol to throw. That's in the red, number three. Ooh, that's the fridge freezer. That's the bullseye! Video cassette recorder. Do it anywhere. Do it anywhere. Yeah. Right, that's and fine. And she took no chance. She threw the last oh. one away. Let's have a look at what you've won. Can't believe it. You have won 
the fridge freezer, the lady sheepskin coat, the microwave oven, the video game, and the video cassette recorder. What about that? Isn't that marvelous? Listen very carefully, listen very carefully. What an incredible night you've had, haven't you? you really come yeah. up right from nowhere. Yes. Remember what you've won. We're going to ask you to consider a gamble. Gamble the prizes you've won there. They're yours, you can take them away if you want to. You can gamble them against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. And all we want you to do is throw 101 or more with six darts. Three for you, Steve, three for you, Carol. And you've got the time it takes that board to revolve to tell us. Now, please have a chat about it, because you've, you've got a lot of money there on there. No, thank you. No, you've decided we've, already. No, we'll keep what we've got. You're going to take what you've got. Yes. All right, well, look, yeah. hang on, I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. All the prizes you've got, and £325, all those prizes, you've got the bullseye darts, the pens, these two super bullseye tankards. It's been marvellous having you with us. We're thrilled to bits you've won. Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> Well, well, well. Now, you know what we do. First time in the series this has happened. They're not gambling for the prize, so we bring back the couple who came second in the competition, Pat and George. Give them a nice welcome back on stage. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you again. Did you think you were coming back? No, we've not. Now we'll ask you the same. You've won £252, and you can gamble that, if you like, against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. 101 or more with six darts. What do you think? I think I'm quite happy as I am. They're going. I don't know what to say about it, but there you go, George. I I'm not sure I blame you, but there you go. 252 pounds. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Well, now. So what do we do now? The first time in two series this has happened. We bring back the couple who came third in the competition. That's David and John. Bring them back on stage. All right, John. Not... Now then, the same applies to you now. Come back. I bet you never, never thought you'd be back here at this no stage, way. did you? No way. You've got £110. You can gamble that for tonight's star prize. 101 or more. Three for you and three for you. What do you think? I think another go. You've got... Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Careful. A non-dark player to go first. A non-dark player to go first. All right. Come and stand with me. Come and stand there, Dave. Over to Tony. Come on, now. What marvellous if we do it. Well, every chance now. And it's John throwing first for tonight's star prize. Well, that's double five. That's a single five. And that's a 14. That's 29. So David needing 72 and three darts in which to do it. That's double top. That's trouble 20, that's the start! Come on, look at this! Come on, look at this! A car, they hug each other in celebration. Together, we are sight savers. Together, with local doctors and nurses, we are treating millions of people with diseases or conditions that cause sight loss. Together, with parents and carers, we are helping families live free from the fear of children going blind from avoidable causes. And together, with those who have left a gift in their will to sight savers, we are doing all this and more. Since 1950, in over 30 countries, we've provided over 1.5 billion treatments to help prevent blindness and other conditions. But there's more to be done. Together, we can create a future where diseases that cause sight loss are eliminated from whole communities. Get your free guide to leaving a gift in your will by calling 0800 038 2282 or searching Sight Savers Legacy. Leave a gift in your will to Sight Savers. 
And together, we can create a future where no one goes blind from preventable causes.